Yes. So, um, in terms of ratio of of the juice to yes. um, alcohol, is it a one to one? Do whatever you want. You know, if if you're going to keep this around, because the cool thing about milk punch is that since it has acidity, sweetness, and alcohol, and it's been clarified to remove all of the cellulose and casein, that's the cheese proteins that we're actually going to take out of the milk, it becomes shelf stable to a degree. Yeah. If you don't it's have fortified enough, exactly. If you don't have enough booze, though, it will start to ferment. Yeah. So. If you're planning on drinking this right away, I would say this is going to be one that's made made to drink really quickly because it involves like lots of fresh ingredients. Sencha tea is very fresh and light and grassy. Watermelon, for me, light, fresh, sweet, pink, right? So this is a milk punch that I want to drink right now. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to worry about having too much alcohol here, but if I was going to do something that was like, you know, pineapple and apples and quince and cinnamon and baking spices in general, right? Yeah. And use dark rums and dark whiskeys, things things that feel like you could cellar them for a little while and let them evolve with time. I might add a bit more booze so I ensure that over the course of the six to eight to 12 or whatever months it is that I'm gonna store it, yeah. it continues to evolve and doesn't ferment. Gotcha. Milk punch ages beautifully. I mean, Eamon released a series of ages. Milk, milk punch, punch ages. Yes, that's that's incredible. Gracefully, it mellows out. Yeah. Imagine like a pasta sauce with red chili. Yeah. I mean, you can eat it the day that you make it, and it's going to be delicious. Yeah. You put it in the fridge, you leave it overnight, or maybe for two days, revisit that again. It's just so much bigger than it was before. All those ingredients just harmonize together. Yeah, it yeah. develops more of a silk mouth feel. Um, yeah. I mean, I've had stuff that's been aged for two, three years, which wow. I still have in my fridge. I know Damon has a collection of aged milk punches. It's fantastic. Allegedly. Stuff. Allegedly. In your in your, uh, <laughs> in your in your in your underground cave in New York yeah. City. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cool. Well, cool. Well, let's see. Um, so you gotta go get the milk. I'm gonna go get the milk. All right. It has to be hot when you add it to this. And and some people argue that you can actually do cool uh, clarifications using cold milk, and it's and it still curdles and it still works. I'm of the belief that use it when it's hot and it's really sort of vibrating and it's and it's nervous and the curds will, will really break out of out of suspension uh, very uh, very aggressively. So I'm of the opinion that using hot milk is the way to go. I know there are a couple people out there that disagree with me. We'll have a beer at some time and we'll work it out. All right, let's go check out the milk. 